everyone. Today I got a special package in the mail from Top Secret Toys. I got to see this toy at Sweet Sweet and I loved it. It is very innovative. It is the future, I think so. So this is a section kit and inside is our little frog. So it is going to be available at Target. Amazon and Walmart, which is so cool that they put that on the box. So this is the box I received and let's get it open. So let's move the tissue paper. Oh, goodies. All right, let's see what we got. We've got this bone pen, a little orange mini composition book, some gloves, and some lovely purple goggles. There's our frog. So here is our dissected frog. And now I remember in middle school and high school, I had to dissect a frog three times, three. And I hated every single second of it. I wanted to cry, it smelled really bad, um, and it just goes against everything that I stand for and everything that I am. So when I saw this at Sweet Sweet, I was like, that is literally the smartest thing ever because we can start using these in the classroom and we can get rid of actually using animals that have passed on. So this is an excellent replacement for all that nasty, let's dissect a frog stuff. Oh, it says it comes with two refill kits, so you can even buy one and use it three times. This is awesome. And we've got organs, skeletal systems, and veins and arteries. And there are no actual sharp edges, so you don't get hurt or cut. And they have other kits. So we've got a salamander, a piranha, and a bat. 51st. So it says in the instructions that our frog is ready to dissect right out of the box. All we are going to do is peel off the plastic. All right, let's get our plastic part off. Here he comes, <laughs> our little frog. That feels so cool. Put our frog in here without hurting him. So the instructions literally give you step by step with all the correct terms and vocabulary, because I remember all of this from when I did this three times before in my life. And I love this already way more because it smells good and it doesn't smell like, uh -uh, not breathing frogs. <laughs> First, of course, we are going to make a slit in our fake frog. They used much better sciencey terms than I am going to use, I'm sorry. There is also an anatomy section so that you can read all about what you're doing and working with, like the skeletal system, the heart, the arteries. I'm gonna take this tool um, and not this tool. I'm sure they have names. I don't know what the names are. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to make my first incision. I shall let you all see. Start my incision right here. Now you should do it on the table, but I want y'all to see, so. <laughs> We're gonna start here, and we're gonna go right down to there. I'm gonna start kind of chipping away at the sides to start getting out um, our little froggy's innards. I've been dissecting for a while, and I have reached a vein area and a bone area, and I'm putting my extra little gelatin frog bits over here back in the mold try to get out the pieces that are on the inside. This is so much more fun than dissecting a real frog already. I'm already in that my hands are covered and it smells so much better. It smells good. Oh, I'm in. This is so fun. I love it. <laughs> I have successfully dissected my entire frog and I'm gonna go wash them off. Wash me off and I will show everything up close. So my frog dissection is complete and I have all of my pieces that I've dissected right here and I will tell you what they are. Now the entire system does come apart that you could really get an up close and really good look at it and really study it. We have his entire skeletal system and they do click together and click apart, even his skull. So here is the skeletal system all put together. 
and the mouth does open and close. And here is the frog heart, is the liver, here are the lungs, the stomach, the other side is actually the cloaca and ovaries. Here is his brain and his eyes, and we've got arteries and veins. All right, I've got my frog all completely put back together. Name him, what, what, what should we name him? My Nana said Freddy the Frog. He needs a top hat. He needs a little top hat right there. So thank you guys so much for watching and go check out the Dissect It Frog.